matrix equations. In this part, we are going to discuss how to solve matrix equation, and we also want to discuss equivalence between vector equation and matrix equation. Here's the definition of matrix equation. So we are given a matrix A, which is n by n, a column vector B. Now the matrix equation is given by Ax equals B. What does it mean? To, we, by solving a matrix equation, we mean we need to find X which is solution, which satisfies the operation Ax equals b. So, for example, simplest example in this case, we give A as 1 by 1 matrix, which is 2. This is essentially number, 1 by 1 matrix. B is a column vector of length 1, which is given by 4. Now, what is Ax equals b? In other words, what x makes ax equals b satisfies ax equals b so we have 2x equals 4 and x can be computed by performing 4 divided by coefficient 2 so 4 divided by coefficient 2 which is 2 unfortunately we cannot extend this approach to matrix equation. You cannot just solve Ax equals B by just dividing B into B divided by A because this is not well defined. So we need to develop another approach. Our target problem is the matrix equation A x equals B. Here A is the matrix and B is vector, column vector, and X is also column vector. Now we're going to understand better what we mean by A x. So A x is a multiplication of a matrix and a column vector. So we write A, for example, as 3 by 3 matrix, X as 3 by 1 column vector. Then after multiplication, it turns out to be a linear combination of three vectors, three column vectors of the matrix A. So there are three columns in A. So three column vectors and x1, x2, x3 becomes the weight of the linear combination. So we're going to check this. This is crucial to convert Ax equals b to the vector equation we previously mentioned. And the checking procedure is a good exercise for uh, matrix multiplication. So we look at this identity. So to prove this kind of identity, we usually go either from left-hand side or right-hand side and try to manipulate the calculation and end up with to the other side. Now, in this proof, we can actually do from both sides and try to meet in the middle. So left-hand side. Matrix multiplication by the rule We need to screen out each row and the column.
multiply each other. So left hand side, one is three by three matrix. The other one is three by one matrix. First of all, this three and this three there, they agree to each other. In other words, the number you want to get is, the vector you want to get is, after multiplication, it's supposed to be three by one. Three comes from here, one comes from here. In other words, you want to figure out three numbers in this three by one vectors. And the first number comes from the first row multiplied by the first column vector. There's only one column vector. So, so this one can be checked by multiplying A11, A12, A13, and X1, X2, X3. So that gives me A11, X1, plus A12, X2, plus A13, X3. This is supposed to be filling up the first box. We can do similar things for number two, number three boxes. Number two, I'm going to skip that. Similar calculations. Then to, prove, to complete the proof, you can, we can now start with RHS right hand side the right hand side is sum of three vectors the first vector is scalar times the column vector which means x scalar should be going to x1 a11 and x2 a21 x2 uh, x1 sorry so x1 a11 x1 a121 x1 a31 and plus the second vector is if you put x2 into the vector we need to multiply this scalar to each element and number th the third vector we multiply by x3 And then vector addition is component-wise addition. So we supposed to have three by one, which is this, 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 three numbers. And the first number comes from this, 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 the sum of these three. The sum of these three comes here, fill up this number one, number one box. And we compare this with the one from left hand side it's supposed to be each other and equal to each other's so number two box also can be verified and number three is similar also so we're done so the point is we want to conclude following proposition we originally wanted to solve matrix equation given by ax equals b now this is the same thing as talking about find the solution of vector equation because the left hand side ax is nothing but a linear combination of three column vectors with proper weights x1 x2 x3 so we rewrite ax or replace ax by linear combination which is equals b and for the vector equation the task is to find x1 x2 x3 those weights for each vector now if we recall the previous slides for vector equation what you want to do is you want to solve It's again, you want to solve augmented matrix 
In other words, you want to put column vectors together and then the other side of bar is B. So here this is B and this is first column, second column, third column. So we use A1, A2, A3 to denote this. And we do we do EROs to get REF. This gives the solution. So again, recap. For matrix equation, basically, this is asking for to solve vector equation, which is equivalent to look at augmented matrix, A one side and B the other side of bar. This is augmented matrix. Let's look at one example, matrix equation, AX equals B, where A is given by 3 by 3, B is given by column vector 3 by 1. There are three questions, but the, at the end, we want to solve it. And there are two intermediate questions. First, I want to write vector equation, which is equivalent to given matrix equation. And the second one is find augmented matrix and solve it. The vector equation, it's nothing but to find weight of linear combination uh, with column vectors, three columns, so one, two, three column vectors. So the vector equation can be written as following. We first copy the matrix, three columns, one, zero, zero, which is first column. Second column is zero one zero. Third one is one one zero. And linear combination means you need to multiply by proper weight and add them together. So that gives me linear combination of three vectors, three column vectors. And the right hand side is basically three to zero. From here, you want to find three weight, three numbers, x1, x2, x3. This is vector equation. The second problem, augmented matrix, it is nothing but put A and B together in one number box, rectangular box, A, B. So in other words, <clears throat> the augmented matrix is 1, 0, 0, which is from first column, second column is, is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and with the separate bar, 3, 2, 0. This is augmented matrix. Now solve it, which is the last question. In other words, you want to solve augmented matrix, and we are familiar with this procedure. So if we look at this problem, we need REF or RIF that is even better. So we need a staircase. So if we look at the first column, one is here, which is pivot, and it already have zeros below its pivot. So this is natural pivot. And then do the staircase here. And the last row is just zero. So we can just go forward until to the end of the box. So we have two pivots. And this is REF, first of all. And this is also REF, so augmented matrix is RREF because for each pivot, those are elements, non-zero elements, the only non-zero elements in their own column. So this is the only one zero element. This is the only one non-zero element in their own column. Now, if we have REF, then we can instantly write back 
to linear system, corresponding linear system. So we know that each column is corresponding to x1, x2, x3 variables. So row by row, when we write, first equation comes from first row. So 1 times x1 plus 0 times x2 plus 1 times x3. The second equation comes from second row. So 0 times x1, 0 times x1, 1 times x2, and 1 times plus x3 equals 2. The last row, supposed to be for third equation, but this is unnecessary, redundant, because everything is 0, 0 equals 0. So we are fine, we go solve for two equations, and we also know that the third column has no pivot, pivot, so there's no pivot. In other words, this x3 is free variable. So we usually solve for those pivot variables for its solution. In other words, we have to separate, ice move those free variables to the other side this free variable to the other side. So from second equation, we get x2 equal 2 minus x3. And first equation gives me 3 minus x3. And we can write, don't forget to write x3, because x3 is itself as a free variable, x3. Then our solution, x1, x2, x3, comes from combining like terms. Here, combining like terms means first start with constants. This is, we put zero plus, it doesn't change anything. So the constant term gives first vector. Second vector comes from x3. So x3 is free variable and their coefficients gives me the column vector attached to x3. Well, this is the solution. All right, so let us conclude this part. So we are going to solve ax equals b. Then at the end, our conclusion is it's nothing but to solve an augmented matrix given by A and B. And all related questions like vector equation and linear dependency, all those things can be combined together, gives us comprehensive conclusion. Um, all right, that's all about this part.